Deli Alley. Go. Oh, for God's sake, Drawty. Bloody Deli Alley. Muhammad Ali with the knockout blow. Well, it's not quite knockout. How can you say we're building... All right, so basically Ollie's plan at the moment is we're crap, we're absolutely crap, but give me time because in the future it's going to get better, right? If you want to believe that lie, you know, that's the line. You know, it's like an ele election campaign, isn't it? You know, we're not selling the NHS or we are selling the H NHS. Whatever you want to believe, it's up to you. Um, but with Ollie, his election campaign is this. We are not going to... Uh, we, we are building for the future even though we're crap now, right? So you believe that and then you see a team like that tonight where you've got a, a left back who's like 23, 24, a left back who's a teenager and a left back who's about 49 and he picks the 49 year old. So all this future. So Spurs line up with Gazaniga in goal, uh, Aurier, Alderweireld, Davinson Sanchez and Vertonghen. So that looks like a back four to me. Harry Winks comes back into the team, Sissoko and Delhi, Son, Lucas and Kane. Boy oh boy, Jose's going for it then. I did not predict he would go with the front three that he's gone with. I thought he would put... Because at the weekend, Mora was on Mark, the bench. you are missing the real reality. Shaw was only consistent player last year and Eric Bray, Bay, our brave defender. As fans, let's be positive, energetic. I'm sure this will motivate everyone, even the players, says Weddy Filippo Programmers. I very much doubt the players are on the United Stand live chat at the moment, so I think we, we're safe to say whatever we bloody well like, to be honest with you. Uh, can I get a shout-out, says Sean Gold. Yes, you can. And uh, Mark, just say the words, I'm Ollie out. All you do is give the arguments for Ollie out and never say it. This is Charlie McManus. I don't know why these bunch of virgins really are obsessed with me saying Ollie out. If you're Ollie out, scream and shout and run around your house and say Ollie out. You know, at the end of the day, why are you so obsessed by what my opinion is, which I've explained to you so many bloody times. When I'm Ollie out, I will say Ollie out. But, you know, the world isn't in out the world is what goes on in between fire power wise and Deli Ali's back in form so I kind of feel like Spurs are going to get the win here unfortunately uh, Vin Barrar says I, every time Vin Barrar does a, um, a, a a super chat it reminds me of this song Vin Barrar bum, bum, ba, da, ba, ba. so I'm just going to do it I'm looking at the lineups right now and they have Kane, Son oh, and Luton he should have waited he should have waited and uh, that's what should have happened but uh, look I've got a lot. I just saw Mourinho and, and Solskjaer hugging there, and I've I have got. I've I always liked Mourinho. I couldn't stand him at United, and now I really like him again because he's just yeah, he's looking cocky though. What? He's looking what? very cocky on the interviews though. Is he? Yeah, he was looking rather smug, smiling. He's got his little swagger back again. And I would, you know, because he's in a better yeah, situation because it's bigger than that, and he does need to go. But so many, so do many others. I mean, look, there's Mister Plonker Pants there. Ashley Young walking out with a captain's armband. What is what? How can that be about the future? Oh, it's so. It don't matter that we're crap. It's all about the future. And then you put Ashley Young back in the team as captain. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I tell you what. Oh, what? The oh, whole Rashford! 1 0 to Manchester United! And I tell you what. Gazanegas made a right mistake there. There's Lingard, look, getting himself in the picture. But it's Rashford who scores it, and Mourinho will be bloody furious there because defensively it's a right mistake and United have benefited from a, a, quite a hot start. They've, uh, I mean, as you said, both teams were giving the ball away. It's Lingard who pops in. It finds its way to Rashford who just shoots. I mean, keeper's got to do better there. But it's a dream start for Manchester United and it's a dream start for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Rashford, I mean, look, it's a good start for Manchester United but it's a shocker from Spurs. Um, he has, he's, he's, he's made a right error there for me but it's 1-0 1-0 to Manchester United it's a good goal and a good finish as well um, yeah to go Honestly. on and not win this from this situation there's, then there's huge problems they've got to go on and win this game now no doubt about it the keeper should have done better but if you don't shoot you don't score you've been given a golden ticket take it to Willy Wonkers because that's you know this, uh, Jose's plan's out the window and United's plan is in the window. So, uh, Mark, United have dropped 12 points from winning positions this year, only second to Villa at 13 points. I hope it's not going to be 15 points today. Oh, threatening gonna, yeah. at the moment. I think we've had... Well, I mean, we can have a look at the stats, can't we? Oh, Rashford just hit the bar. Bloody hell. They are mad. I don't know what they are doing and I don't know what Rashford's eating. He's definitely had a couple of Weetabix because... 
They're just standing off him. And I was like, how can you stand off Marcus Rashford from there? They stand off him from 30 yards and he just smacks it. Dead central, but it whacks the bar. I don't know whether the keeper gets a hand on it. He might have made a worldy save there, but uh, they're, they're idiots. They're just standing off Rashford and he's like, I've got my eye in. I'm going to shoot. Could have been 2-0 there. Well, easily, easily. I was just looking at the stats then and it's 54 concerned. Mark, would you agree Lingard has been phenomenal? Says uh, Ali K. No. <laughs> I'd like what I'd like to have a drink of what you're drinking, but um, no, I think Lingard's been okay. I wouldn't say he's been brilliant. Um, he's given the ball away a lot, but no, he good defending there by Lindelof. Very good defending by Lindelof because Son was literally in the six-yard box. Cross comes in. Oh, good header. Aurier, good save of the feet by De Gea. Get rid of it. Deli Ali. Goal. Oh, for God's sake, Drawty. Bloody Deli Ali. Muhammad Ali with the knockout blow. Well, it's not quite a knockout, but you've got to say, Lindelof does really, really well there. But I'm telling you what, what is Harry Maguire doing? He looks like one of them bloody stone men from Easter Island, and he acts like one here. What are you doing, Harry? Like, you've got to get across. Oh, he slips. No, 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 he doesn't slip. No. He's just stood there dictating. He's got to come across there. Whoever, I mean... That's it, clever from... It's Fred who gets turned. It's clever turned. from Delhi, though. It's his very good skill by Deli Ali, but McTominay and Maguire and Young have got to cover that. They've got to cover that space. You can't just stand there. Oh, bloody hell. Out of nothing. Deli yeah, Ali. like I said, they've been on the back foot. Oh, it's VAR. Hold on. What's going on here? No, it's, it's, it's not. It's, that's, they're trying to say it might have hit his hand. Wait, it's his... Whoa, we tell you what. Might. I think again, a little bit like the Sheffield United game. Is it the top of is the top of your arm your hand again? Or is it his shoulder? Technically, is that a penalty? Not a penalty. A goal? He's given the goal. He's given the bloody goal. Oh, I don't even bloody understand what VAR's all about now. So what so so is your elbow your arm? Are your fingers on your arm? Because your bloody top biceps are part of your arm. When I go down the gym, which I never bloody do, and they say work on your biceps, they're talking about the top of my arm. That flicks off the top of his arm. It's not his shoulder. Your shoulder's up here. Doesn't anybody know the bloody song? Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Like, your shoulder's here. It hits the top of his bicep. How is that not a handball? Someone's going to tell me now. Technically... Anything above your elbow isn't your arm. It bloody is when I was a kid, and it's still one now. What? Talk to me, oh, Dorothy. I, I reckon that's a training ground thing, though. It's a lack of communication. I personally feel that Harry Maguire is now starting to verge into a, being a bad signing. And I'm not saying he's going to be a bad signing, but... He, he, you know, he had, a, he had a good start, and I think over the last month he's dropping off. And I think what's happening is what happens to a lot of United players. They come in, they're overawed by the club, they love it, they're excited, their form continues. Then they come in to, with all these crap players, they have these crap results, and they start to drain, they, they start to adapt to their surroundings. And I think Harry Maguire's concentration levels recently have been really, really poor. But I've got to be honest, it's not just Maguire on that one. It's McTominay. LM Studio One says, Oli in, great fight though. I think LM Studio One might be Mrs. Solskjaer or something like that, because they're very, very positive. Um, I thought they had Leicester at some point. Never mind. Um, Rashford. Penalty given. Oh, I tell you what. You, you couldn't write this. You could not write this. Spurs get themselves back in the game. And you're not here to get a penalty. Unbelievable. And Mourinho will be going mad. It's good skill by Rashford. He goes past his man. And... Stone wall. That's not going to go VAR. That's stone wall. Treads on his foot. Penalty. Hey, Mark, what was your first reaction when the wash and go mascot was approaching you? I thought, I thought, God, yeah, that's a penalty. You can't, you can't revert that to VAR. No, that's that's a Stonewall penalty. You just get nervous. But look, this is it. Look seems to be on our side. Well, it's not look because it's a penalty, but it does seem to be on our side a little bit tonight because Mourinho will be like, bloody hell, I've just given a team talk and they've messed it up again. It's not even going to go... Well, I'm sure VAR have looked at it, but there's no way they can't not give that penalty. 
They've given it. Marcus Rashford is stepping up. <laughs> Some people are saying it's not a penalty. It is a penalty. It's been given. Rashford's about to take it. People are saying it's not a penalty. Clearly, you can see the face reaction of Rashford. He treads on his foot. Oh, come on, ref. Bloody hell, everything takes so long. Just take it. Good penalty. Yes, 1-1, one, 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 one. Two, one to Manchester United. Took his time on that, didn't smash it home and passes it back in. And Rashford's got the second goal for Manchester United. And, well, I think it's just this. I think that's just this. I think United should have been winning this game. And Spurs just, hopefully that's a sign of more to come from Spurs because defensively they're all over the shop and we can get at them when we get at them. And uh, early intention from Rashford to do that, wins the penalty, puts it away. Leadership skills from Rashford there. He's certainly stepping up to the plate tonight. United lead 2-1 over, over Tottenham. And uh, whatever game plan Mourinho had will have disappeared out the window because United have gone 2-1 up. <sighs> this is what. it, though. It's another early goal. And it's a early goals are so important, whether it's second half early goal or first half early goal, because everything the manager's told his players just goes out the window now. Mourinho would have been like, right, let's take control of this game now. Well, no, that's not what's going to happen. United can now revert to what they were doing very well in the, in the first half, which is... Soaking up the pressure and hitting on the break. Because we're 94 minutes. That's it. And he has. And it's a win for Manchester it. United. It's 2-1. Mourinho shakes hands with Oli. And uh, it's not what he would have wanted. He'll be pretty pissed off about that. But we're not. Marcus Rashford. Extraordinaire. Spurs. Beaten by Manchester United. They'll be shocked. They will be shocked. And tactical masterclass by Solskjaer with half the quality. Glory, glory, says Strutson. The, the, the flip-floppers are out, but um, Ollie's in. Ollie is in, and I don't think he's going anywhere, Drawty.